Hello everyone, we hope that you have a wonderful day today and today we're going to present you about one of the primitive insects which is stoneflies which is belongs to the or the Plecoptera and they're from group level At first, how does it look like? So this is a picture of a stoneflies if you guys don't know and the third picture shows that the stoneflies with his or her partner and the fourth picture is a, is a sketch of the sketching of the stoneflies insects. Basically, stoneflies are classified according to this order, and of course, it belongs to the kingdom of Animalia, and it is classified under the phylum of Acropoda. And the class is Insecta. The inferior class is Neoptera, whereas the subclass is Terigota. The super order is Exoptericota and of course the order is Plecoptera, which what are we talking about right now? And where can they be found? So basically it can they can be found worldwide except Antarctica. Stoneflies is one of the most primitive group of Neoptera and they act as an indicator for water quality. So, if you saw the presence in the stream or in the water, it is usually indicate that the water is in good quality. Stoneflies also depend upon cool, well oxygenated water for their nymphal development. They are very susceptible to human abuse if water courses. Any effluent that reduces the oxygen content of the water quickly extirpates them, even minor pollution. The nymphs of stonefly have long antenna, chewing mouth parts, and two long cerci. Gills, when present, are on the thorax, neck, or the first two or three abdominal segments. As the name stonefly implies, nymphs are commonly found on or under stones. Some species are herbivorous, but others are carnivorous. The names of stonefly are usually from the anatomy of the stonefly. It mandibulate in adult and has long filiform antenna at least half length of the body. And it has bulging compound eyes and at least two or three ocelli. And it also has subequal thoracic segments. Stonefly has three segmented tarsi, but their hind legs are not modified or for jumping. From the anatomy of the so we will continue with the life cycle of stoneflies. Stoneflies undergo no metamorphosis, meaning that they don't have a pupal stage, um, and they are considered to have an incomplete life cycle. While the life cycle of the stonefly is the same across the species, the time span can be different. So, let's take a look at the life cycle. We'll start with stonefly egg stage. Female, adult female, stonefly eggs are dropped as an egg sac into the river or stream. Sometimes she will fly above the water. At the time, she will crawl down to the stream edge to drop the egg sac. And the eggs dissipate in the water and eventually mature to become nymph. Next, stonefly nymph stage. After the eggs develop into nymphs, stoneflies can take anywhere from 3 months to 3 years to mature into adulthood. During this time, they pass through stages known as in stars. As the name grow, they shed their exoskeletons. Each period of shredding marks at the end of an in star stage. Depending on the species, the name may undergo uh, anywhere from 12 to 23 in stars as maturity approach. The stonefly nymphs make their way to the water age and prepare to emerge. Males tend 
to mature faster and emerge sooner than females, emerging occurs mostly at night. Next, the stonefly adult stage. Uh, upon emerging from the water, the stonefly has one last in star. Upon its complete completion, the nim is now an adult. The adult stage tends to only last for a few days, up to few weeks. Depending on the species, those that live only a short time never eat. Instead, they are focused upon mating. Those that live longer will feed upon pollen, plants, and growth on tree bark. Stonefly mating. Stoneflies tend to mate in swarm. They are often found at this point swarming some sort of vegetation near the river or stream. This can be any plant or trees found nearby. Sometimes they will mate on the ground. Males will attract the female by biting their bodies on the vegetation or ground. Some species of stonefly will mate repeatedly, creating multiple offspring. Stonefly reproduction. The stonefly female will now have a sac of the eggs. She returns to the water age and drops her egg sac under the water. Some species will mate repeatedly, creating multiple eggs to be dropped underwater, and the process will begin again. 